Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. My name is Hilary Lemon. I'm the pastoral associate for Elementary Faith Formation here at St. John the 23rd. Thank you so much for joining me um, as we slow down and reflect on today's reading. Our gospel today comes from John and it's chapter 16, verses 12 through 15. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. So I think understanding today's gospel um, is going to take a lot of patience from each of us. And I think that that was true as Jesus was telling this to his disciples, that he has so much to tell them, but they're just not ready for it yet. And I think that's true for each of us, no matter where we're at in our lives right now. We need to be patient with ourselves and with each other um, as we all continue on our own journeys with Christ. I kept going back um, to when Jesus is telling his disciples that they weren't ready to hear everything he has to teach them yet as I reflected on this gospel passage. I can, I can so easily place myself in that moment. I know that in my own life, I have so much more to learn um, and so much more to explore in my relationship with Jesus. It's ever changing, it's constantly growing. And I don't, I don't think that there is ever an end um, to how much more Jesus has to share with me and to share with each of us. And I think that this is where um, the spirit of truth can come in. Jesus may not physically be here on earth. He may not physically be walking and talking here on earth, but he is fully alive and present in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, lives within each of us. So Jesus is fully in each of our hearts. And that means that we have Jesus within us. We can be Christ for others. We can be his hands and feet. We can help to spread his truth. But we have to be open to knowing and accepting that. And that process of understanding um, looks different for each of us. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us and to give us strength so that we can live as Christians, um, even if the world that we live in sometimes makes that a little difficult. It's really easy, I think, to get caught up in our everyday lives. Um, but we can also live knowing that Jesus is within us, that the Holy Spirit is helping to guide us um, so that we can live our lives with Christ at the center. So today might be a really hard day to see that. Yesterday might have been a hard day to see and understand that. And tomorrow might be even harder. But we just have to remember that Jesus is always with us. He's in our hearts. Remember he, he said, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. Now it's possible that we never fully understand that truth. And I think that that's okay. We just have to remember to be patient with ourselves, to be patient with other people, um, and to keep our hearts open. Because Jesus is working within each of us. The Holy Spirit is always guiding us towards the truth. We just have to be patient and we have to be open and ready. Please know that we are all constantly praying for you. Um, we miss you. And I hope that you spend the rest of your day being patient with yourself, knowing that Christ is fully alive in you. Have a great day.